hello guys this is farjana welcome to my another quick tutorial in today's video i will show you how you can add our contact form 7 into our elementor website and then how we can customize this form like this way so without any further ado let's get started first i'm going to dashboard then going to plugins and add new plugins so here i'm searching for contact form 7 and here is the plugin contact form 7 so now going to install this one and going to activate okay so after installing this plugin we'll find a tab here named contact and here we'll see a default form which is already created as sample we can edit this one or we can create a new one from scratch so we for this time we can go with this so here is your name email address subject message and submit button and here in the similar way if we want to add a new field so just keep my cursor here and click on enter and here for example if i want to add my phone number so click on this tail and here we can make the field to required or not for example i'm making it this required field and default value here we can add the field level so here i'm typing phone and here we can make this level as a placeholder for this time i'm leaving with this and then click on insert so now here we can see only the input field and if we want to create the similar way so for that need to copy this one and paste it and instead of the input field I'm going to paste it here and here we can also remove the label or we can move it to from here to here so I need not to use this inside our input field and finally if we make any changes just click on this save button and here is some more options so if we go to the email tab from here we can set our own email address so when someone fill this form all this information will redirect to the certain email address and here is all these basic settings so if you are already familiar with the contact form 7 I'm not going through all these details for this time. I want to show you how we can add this contact form 7 to our Elementor website and then how we can customize or how we can add our own style to this form. And finally, if we check here, here is the message option. So we can also customize our success message or failure message or different kind of messages from here. And here is some additional settings okay by default if we want to add our contact form 7 to any page we can simply copy this short code from here I'm going to copy it and now I'm going to a page for example I'm going to the contact page I have already created a page before and here I'm going to edit with Elementor and scroll down so here I'm taking a new section for this time taking a regular section or full column structure so now if we want to paste our short code so simply click here and search for short code so we can take these widgets and we can paste our short code here so this is the default look of contact form 7 and here is no more customization option so in advanced tab we will find very few options to customize it for example you can add some margin padding and we can set the background color and some common styling option but we cannot style from here all these input fields levels buttons and all these details so to customize our form we have to install a one more plugin so for that again I'm going to plugins and going to add new and from here I'm searching for HT Mega and this is the plugin HT Mega absolute add-ons for Elementor page builder 
so i have already installed and activated this plugin so if you don't have you can do it from here and then if we go to the st mega add-ons and settings page so from element tab we can see all the activate widgets for this plugin so if we don't find this contact from 7 here click on the third party so from here we can see our contact from 7 widgets is enabled and now if we go to our page and save changes and now if i refresh it again scroll down and now just removing these widgets and again searching for contact form so here is contact form 7 and it's coming from our HD Mega plugin so i'm taking this one now and here we have to select the contact form from here okay so this is the default style from this plugin and style so here is six different default style for this form if we go to the style 2 this is basically a transparent style so if we add any background color into this section so going to style tab and for background color if i add any dark color so now our form is showing okay i'm going back and now if i go to the style 3 so it's looking like this and then going to style 4 it's looking like that and then style 5 looking like this and finally style 6 so it's looking like this and if we want to customize it more so we can also do that from style tab so for that for example if we want to change the alignment from center to left we can do that just click here and now if we want to change the text style so for that going to level and text color from here we can change the text color to anything and typography we can change the font style by default here is showing the italic style so we can make it to normal and also we can change the font size to 22 or anything and from here you can also change the font family to a different one so i'm selecting the poppins and also we can make the font weight to bold and from here you can also change the button color okay so for this form i'm going to use the second one so now i'm going to take the style 2 and going to this edit section going to style tab and from background i'm adding a gradient color so for the first color i'm taking something blue and here we can also change the gradient angle and here from edit section we can add some padding in top so going to advanced tab and for padding we can add 70 pixel and here if we want to change the width of this form so we can also do that so going to layout and content width so we can change the width or we can make it be smaller so it's looking like this and now if we want to change the font color we can also do that just click on these widgets going to style tab and going to levels and text color i'm making it to white and for button we can also change the style so going back and here is button so here is text color i'm making the text color to a different one or you can make it to like this and here we can also increase the text size i'm making it to 16 and here if we want to change the background color of this button we can do that and also if we go to the hover state of this button by default here is showing a dark color so we can also change the hover color 
uh, to a different one and for hover state we can also change the text color so we can make the text color to white so now it's looking like this and here is so much flexibility so we can also customize the input field so here is input also we can change the background color for input from here i'm going back and if we type anything so we can also change the input text color so here is input text color we can make it to red or anything we can see it's changing going back so in the similar way we can customize our level our input field input field text or input field background button color and all these and in the similar way if we go to the advanced tab so here we will find some advanced customization options now i'm going to save changes and going to view page okay so here is showing our contact form 7 i hope you understand the basic concept how we can customize or how we can style our contact form 7 in elementor website so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial